All right. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do uh, for this type of problem is going to take a look at how to determine the leading coefficient and the degree. Um, and that's all we're going to be able to find out, just the leading coefficient and the degree. Uh, we'll talk about m behavior in a little bit. So, to go through this, to find leading coefficient and degree, remember, to find our degree, we have to find the monomial in your polynomial that has the largest degree, which is going to be you know, your largest you know, exponent. So the main important thing, what we're going to do, is we want to make sure we put this in descending order. So therefore, we're going to take the largest degree, the monomial with the largest degree, and we're going to list that first. And then we're going to go down in descending order, which we'll call standard form of a polynomial. So we look at our degree, and we say, all right, the largest degree is right there, is 6. So we're going to take that whole monomial and, set, and write that first. So we have 7y to the 6th. Then the next one, largest degree, is 5. So we now take that whole monomial and write that next, which is a negative y to the fifth. Then the next highest degree is my y squared. So I take that whole monomial, which is plus 5y squared. Then y, when it, we don't have it raised to a power, we don't show it being raised to a power, we know it's being raised to a 1. So that would be your next largest. So you take the whole monomial. And then this can really be raised to y to the 0, which we don't write. But we just notice that that's going to be my last term, which is my constant, plus 18. OK, so now I have this in descending order from largest degree to smallest degree. So to define the degree is obviously going to be our monomial with the largest degree. And that largest degree is 6. So we say degree of the polynomial is 6. Then our leading coefficient is the coefficient of that leading term, which is 7. That's all you got to do.